Hello my friends, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media and we're doing something new on the channel today, our first ever double rainbow showcase. Usually I do them one at a time, but today I decided to do things a little bit differently because we got the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Goku and the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta both rainbowed and I want to showcase them together because they are such an amazing combo and I've always been a supporter of using these two guys on the Super AGL team. So if you guys have them sitting in your box and you haven't given them the love that they deserve, um, I think they're definitely worth it and I think this video will show you exactly why. We're going to jump into Boss Rush in just a moment but before we start into that or get into that rather, I want to remind you guys that I do have an Instagram page now. It's at Tiger Upcurrent Media. So if you guys want to stay up to date with my day-to-day -day life, as well as be the first to find out about new videos coming out or new contests for giveaways that I'm doing, then make sure to go on Instagram and follow me at Tiger Uppercut Media. I would really appreciate it, it means a lot. But now that we have that out of the way, let's jump into the showcase. We're gonna do Boss Rush 2 on uh, Super 2 difficulty or whatever the one with you know the 120 leads. I think that, uh, I could be wrong actually. I don't know, it's been a long time since I've done this, so we'll just see what happens, but it's Boss Rush 2. I'm bringing the Super AGL team. It's got the two uh, rainbow blue boys, of course, but also um, we got one of the best, still one of the best units in this game, despite the fact that he was replaced by the physical one, the AGL Super Vegito. This guy is still a monster. I love him so much. And I'm really happy, actually, that we got both of these guys on the same rotation, so that's really awesome. Um, let's give him these orbs here, and then we'll give Goku these orbs, and then Vegito will take some of those. So. Basically, uh, these two function a little bit differently. The Goku will hit harder because he is uh, does that get a hundred percent buff on his uh, attack when he supers. Well, the Vegeta only gets an eighty percent buff, but he also gets a eighty percent defense buff as well when he supers. So basically, Vegeta is going to be more of a tank, while Goku is going to do, be doing uh, the bulk of the damage. And as you can, you can see, like these both these guys can hit well over a million easily when they have some crits in the dungeon system, and obviously with type advantage and things like that. Uh, that stage was with type disadvantage, so the damage you see there is not going to be super representative of what they'll be normally doing against you know normal like enemies that don't have that type advantage or disadvantage. So here we go. We got not the best rotation here, but. We're gonna show off the friend Rainbow Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta for a second too. And of course I brought the pen because I want her to buff the other two guys, um, I guess later on on the same rotation. And I also brought the uh, Super Saiyan 2 Team Gohan as well. Usually in his spot would be my LR Mighty Mask, but I wanted to put most of the emphasis, you know, the focus on the two blue guys. So for that reason, I didn't bring the LR Mighty Mask. Although he's an awesome unit, I love him, and uh, maybe I'll do a showcase of him later on, or them later on, because it's the like, Goten and the Trunks, but you know what I'm trying to say. Okay, here we go. So, good thing now we got the, the Gohan on rotation. He's going to provide a 25% attack buff to both our guys, and let's do this. So, this is good because since Vegeta's going to be supering first, he'll get that 80% buff. On his defense as well and then you'll be able to see him tank a little bit of damage and see what i mean so over a million attack stat right there and he's gonna crit for 1.9 mil so we're actually not even gonna be able to see his tanking because he just did so much damage and killed the guy and he's not gonna take any hits there but as you can see um damage output potential is very very high um let's talk a little bit about their links actually so um, the reason those two guys are so good, the blue Vegeta and the blue Goku are so good together is because they link extremely, extremely well. They share every single link except for one, I think, um, for Goku it's Kamehameha and then for Vegeta it's, uh, I forgot, I forgot what it was, but they share so many links together. Uh, I have the list right here, so they share Super Saiyan, Warrior Gods, Super God Combat, Resurrection F, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle which in total gives them a buff of 100, oh, not 100, no, no, that's too much. They give each other 50% attack up and plus two key, which could be better because the plus two key does hurt a little bit because sometimes you won't be able to get, be able to get their supers off. You don't, have, you don't have anyone like buffing their key, so that's a little bit of an issue, but you can't beat 50% attack boost, which is why these two are so, so good together. I think the blue Vegeta actually, uh, blue Vegeta, no, what am I talking about? 
the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta that we're using as a friend right now is actually Scott. So a little cameo from Scott in this video. Say what's up to my boy Scott, aka O the Hermanity. If you guys haven't seen our last summoning video together, we actually met up in person in Toronto and did a summoning video uh, on the LR banner. So if you guys haven't seen that, go check it out. It was really, really sick. Uh, here, let's see Goku do a crit. No crit, but 1.9 mil with the type of vantage. That's that's still pretty nice. That's still pretty nice. Um, so yeah, I mean, <laughs> I know I've been talking a lot over all this gameplay and I haven't been reacting to it too much, but you guys can see these guys can do a crazy amount of damage. It's it's pretty stupid to be honest. And if you have him or you have both of them, which most people should because they're on every single banner, so you should have pulled them by accident even if you weren't trying to. Then definitely give them a try in your Super AGL team. They're, they're pretty solid, especially um, when linked up together. And also, they're good on some other categories too. I think they're on the Warrior. Actually, they might be only on the... <laughs> well, for Global at least, on the um, Re Realm of Gods. Realm of Gods category. And soon, I mean, on JP, they're also on the Pure Blooded Saiyans category. Oh, what did I do here? Oh, I messed up. Okay, I'm gonna reset the game. I'll be right back. And we're back, so I had to reset the game quickly because I put Pan in the beginning and that would have messed up all my rotations for the rest of the showcase. I was like, no, screw that. I can't can't have that happen. So um, reset the game. We're good again. <laughs> and you're going to see Vegeta do some nice damage again against this. They're probably going to one-shot this Frieza because of the type of advantage. And of course, he's also buffed by Pan. 1.1 mil attacks that. And it's going to hit for 2.2 mil. Yeah, uh, uh, it's pretty nice, guys. It's pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, one question that does come up a lot, and I want to mention this. Well, I usually mention it as whenever I'm showcasing the blue Goku or the blue Vegeta, or whenever they're in a video, is uh, people ask like, is the Super Saiyan Blue Goku better or the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku better? And the Kaioken Goku, of course, is the one that's global exclusive for now. We never know what's going to happen because it seems like JP eventually does get all the global exclusives or the ones that we think are going to be exclusive. So example would be the PyCon and the physical Angel Kaioken Goku that are coming to JP. I mean they should be in JP now actually so I'm going to attend this video comes out which is... Um, I'm filming I mean on the 12th so... That's a little giveaway for you guys, but <laughs> yeah, I'm swimming on the 12th, so they should be out by the time that this video is up. And, um, you know, you know, they're not exclusive anymore. They're not exclusive anymore. We thought they were going to be exclusive. They aren't anymore. So the Kaokan Goku that is currently still exclusive um, is 1.26 mil attack stat, by the way. Let's see what this... Yep, 2.4 mil crit. There we go, guys. I'm telling you, these guys are sick. Um, but as I was saying, I get distracted a lot, don't I? The blue Goku and the Kaioken blue Goku. Which one's better? They're both AGL, both fit very well on this team. But if I had to choose one, I would definitely say that the uh, Super Saiyan blue Goku is a, the harder hitter. I think, no, I mean, that's not really opinion, that's just facts. It's true that the fucking Super Saiyan Blue Goku is a harder hitter because he gets a 100% attack boost when he supers, while the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku is by far the better, well not by far, but like definitely a better linker with a lot of the other units on this team. So he's going to give a lot more key to your Vegeta, uh, the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta that is, and um, you know, he just has a really good link set. So it really depends on what you're going for, if you want more damage output or better links, but for me personally, I use the Super Saiyan Blue Goku because I have him at 100%, and also, he does a lot of damage when linked up with the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, so that's the reason I went to decided to go for this setup. Oh, sick! Okay, so we got a Doken attack off now. You, it was, it's going to be type disadvantage, so unless he crits, it's not going to be very impressive. I'm going to focus for a second, get all these. There we go. Okay, so we got all of the little orb things for that token attack, so we are good to go. Hopefully get a crit, and we can see something really nice. But if not, keep in mind, it's type disadvantage, right? So it's... 1.3 mil still. Type disadvantage, 1.3 mil token attack. Not too shabby for, you know, a unit that you can get on any banner and is a non doken exclusive unit. So yeah, I think I'm just further emphasizing 
basically with the rest of the showcase that these guys are really good. Really, really good. Um, what else do I want to talk about? Uh, what else do I want to talk about? Oh, if you didn't see my summoning video yesterday for Dragon Ball Legends, you probably don't know this, but I don't have a Super Saiyan 3 Bardock summoning video coming out. And uh, it's probably going to stay that way. I'm about five stones deep into the banner right now, and I'm going to keep it that way. I literally, when the banner dropped, I did a single. I got like an Argaldo, and I'm like, okay, that's good. So <laughs> I'm not going to be summoning on the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock banner because uh, I'm just a little bit burned out, honestly. I'm just a little bit burned out from summoning. And uh, I don't really feel like summoning on the Bardock banner. I guess that's, that's just basically the most simple explanation I can give you guys. I wish I could tell you something different. I wish I could, you know, just just be a little bit more helpful in that regard. But I, I can't. This is literally just like I don't feel like it. You know, I'm I'm a little bit burned out from summoning after spending over a thousand stones on the LR Rising Dragon Carnival Tapion banner. So uh, I'm gonna take a break, and I will be coming back in full force. You know, like with a lot of stones for the three-year anniversary. Once that becomes a thing. That's a lot of damage. Was that Goku or Vegeta? I don't know, but they're I like they're both beasts, so it doesn't really matter. But um, I'm not gonna be summoning until the three year comes out, so don't expect any summoning videos for Dokkan for a while. Hope you guys are okay with that. Hope you guys stick around because you know that you know I still want to bring you guys awesome content, but I'm just taking some time off personally from summoning, saving a little bit of money um, so that I can really go whale out on the LR Vegito and the LR Gogeta banners. So I'm probably gonna make this the last stage for the showcase and I'm gonna put Vegito here because I want him to get out all those counters and just annihilate everything and then uh, the Vegeta should take care of the rest. Moving on to the next stage we got some uh, cell action and then and then that's it that's it. I want, I want to keep this video under 20 minutes for sure. I'm sure by this point you guys can already tell that these guys are really really strong units and uh, you know, I, oh, before anyone mentions this, I'm gonna catch it myself. D3 already did a video showcasing these two guys together, and I saw that actually before I uh, filmed this video. But, but, you know, there are a lot of different videos out there of similar content, but each YouTuber, at least in my opinion, brings something different to the table. And I believe that I do bring something different to the table than D3 and Nano and Rhyme and all those other people. So, you know, even though other people have done similar videos, it doesn't mean that I can't make a video just with my own spin on it, right? But I know, I know some people are gonna be talking about it, so that's why I'm mentioning it now, but that's the last I'll say on it. That's it. Um, and oh yeah, also, also Mexico. I just had, I just came back from Mexico. I don't think I can tell. I'm a little bit more red. That's a lot of damn damage. These guys are getting crits left and right. That's freaking awesome for the showcase. Thank you guys. But uh, I just came back from Mexico. A little bit more tan. Really a little bit more burnt. A little bit more crispy than I was before. And it was just me being stupid and not wearing um, sunscreen. When I was there. It was really bad for a while. Uh, <laughs> I talked about it in my Dragon Ball Legends summoning video yesterday, but. Um, Man, it was like horrible, horrible. It, it, I got this thing called Hell's Itch, and um, man, uh, what can I say? What can I say? It, it was it was like the worst feeling, worst experience I've had in either my entire life or in a very long time. It was just this horrible, horrible itching that wouldn't go away, and no matter how much like lotion, aloe, aloe lotion I used or um, you know, other things I took, it didn't really help. I just had to kind of just like sit there like twitching and like shaking and like waited for it to go away. It, it was a bad time. That's why I didn't film anything for a little while, aside from the fact that I was in Mexico, but I didn't film anything for a little while when I came back because I just couldn't get myself to focus enough to get that done. Um, oh, I said that last one was gonna be the last one, but I guess this will be the last one because I just kind of went into it without thinking. Can we get another crit here? No, but in the 39k, all right. So we'll make this the last stage. It's still probably gonna keep the video under 30 minutes because we're gonna clear this stage real quick. Um, and and I'm gonna let you guys get on with the rest of your lives from, uh, you know, maybe going back to playing Dokkan or watching some videos or going to work or going to school, whatever you're doing. But uh, that's pretty much that's pretty much all I wanted to say today. Uh, Mexico was awesome. Had a great time with Taya and I'll post some pictures of the food and other stuff that happened there um, after, you know, in a bit when on uh, 
What am I trying to say? When I when I get on Instagram later, yeah. <laughs> when I get when I get some time to post on Instagram, you guys will be able to see some of the food and all that good stuff. But yeah, um, you know, food was awesome. The resort was really sweet. It's actually my first time ever in Mexico. Oh, this is gonna be a good one. This is gonna be a good one. It was the first time in Mexico, and I got to see the Cirque du Soleil show there. It's called Hoya. If you guys ever get a chance to go down there, you definitely should go check it out. It's an awesome, awesome show. 1.37 mil. Can we get a critical 2.6 mil crits? Yes, okay. That's what I want to see. That's a good way to end off this showcase right here. But um, I don't think these guys need any more, any more boosting from me. You guys already can tell how amazing they are and I guess that's the point of the video right the point of the video is to show you guys what these guys can do and convince you to use them I mean if they weren't as good as you thought they were then maybe it convinced you to not use them either way they are I mean there's so many good super AGL units around that they might not be considered optimal anymore but not everyone's gonna have the optimal units for every type right so if you have these guys and you don't have like the Super Saiyan 3 Goku all the way Extreme Z Awakened yet, or you don't have like Mighty Mask or whatever, then these guys are an amazing option. Vegeta is going to finish off this showcase video, and I'm going to get out of here. So, <laughs> going to go here, abandon quest, yes. So, that is the showcase video for today, the double rainbow showcase, the first ever one on this channel. Definitely not the last, I'm sure I'll do some more with uh, dynamic duos once I get more units rainbowed. Just need the damn orbs as, I mean, I'm sure you guys have heard this before, everyone talks about it. We need more orbs. Uh, World Tournament's coming up, so that's gonna help with the orb situation. Also the three year anniversary is gonna help with the orb situation a lot as well. And if you guys haven't watched it yet, go watch my three year anniversary video where I talk about all the upcoming events and all that good stuff. It's been getting a lot of views and people seem to like it, so I'll make more videos of that style in the future as well. But that's all for today. Hope you guys liked the video. Hope you guys enjoyed watching Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, the AGL versions. Wreck some, well just wreckage, I guess. <laughs> Wreck some wreckage. That's that's good, Tiger. Anyways, hope you guys have an awesome day. If you liked the video, like the damn video and uh, subscribe to me if you haven't yet. If you like my content, hope you guys. Um, mm, I already said have an awesome day. Well, still, have an awesome day. This is Tiger with Tiger Africa Media. Signing out.